called Basla or B-O-S-L-L-A. I am assuming that's how you pronounce that. Basla, Basla, Bas Basla, Basla, Basla. They reached out to me on Instagram of all things and sent me some headlights for the Big Dirty Dodge. So we're going to check them out. I've, I, have, I knew nothing of this company before, but they've got a lot of stuff going on. So I was sitting here doing my YouTube comments and I punched in what, what they have sent me here. The Bullet B4 series, H11s, H, H11, H8, H9, LED headlight bog, bulb, fog light bulb, 60 watts, 7200 lumens, three colors, four modes, 65K, 4300K, and 3000K. And it's got a warning flasher in it too, apparently. So retail on this thing said $139.99. They've got them listed for $119.99. And I, I don't know, I don't know about all this stuff yet. sunny mode rainy mode hazy mode emergency mode i don't know but that's all right we're gonna we're gonna give everything a fair go so they shipped them to us let's open these bad boys up and see what's in them i had to move some shit because i'm running out of space here also i i'm wanting another computer desk because this thing has had it it's teeny tiny little it was okay in the apartment with my laptop, but the more I keep moving on with a different setup, it's just not working anymore. And I got a lot of space over here that I could put like a tall corner desk or something, and I'd like to move everything over that direction. So if anybody has any suggestions on some desks or a desk, let me know. Cause I definitely want to get something else. So, okay, so. Turns out you can just pull the packaging open. And this thing was heavy. It was like... It was like really, really heavy. So... That's like, wow. It's pretty cool looking. Looks like the boxes they send new iPhones in. So my Dodge Ram, a 9004 high and low beam. Apparently that's... I told them what kind of truck I drove. They said they'd take care of it. So they reached out to me. Wow, this is like a touch material. Like, this is, you can feel it. Anyway, uh, that's a fancy packaging. Anyway. This is the part where I drop it like that kid in that video with the brand new iPhone. Basla, brighten your way. Alright, short retainer, long retainer, station steps, cool, capacitor decoder, resistor decoder, okay, that's the first set of like, I'm assuming these are LED, that's what this is, that I've seen that are sending, oh they gave me three, three stickers, ha, <laughs> that's the auto LED light, transparent. I like that. Pretty neat. It looks like a frog. Or is that just me? It's totally a frog. So, they're actually... Oh, and it is glass. Okay, so... Remove the cover. They're two-toned. Gold and silver on the heat sink. And then these... Are our little capacitor things that they called it I guess to decoder something or another and it screws on to the end once you connect it so that's pretty neat it's bullet lol <laughs> all right well let's go out there to the truck it's a pretty nifty little box the packaging is really really good on this thing so Let's go get these on the truck. All right, so hoods up and we can go through the backside down in here. All right, so the factory retainers no longer fit these lights and you have to trim them. Well, I don't feel like trimming mine tonight. So I've got mechanics wire wrapped around the housing to hold these in. And then I'm just gonna zip tie the little ballast thing up out of the way but for the time being so that we can 
see how these bad boys look and it took me a minute to figure out how you rotate the light around so you turn them on and you get the brightest setting that they've got then you flip the lights on my truck it's to park and then back to headlights quickly and this changes through the modes i didn't know if you had to hook it to your phone or what but you don't so right here you got them on bright then flick them off and right back on now you're at a lower setting with a little bit of yellow light and then again now you're on full amber and then back to the original now on a single filament bulb it's supposed to do some sort of strobing effect i have yet to be able to make the strobing effect work yep all right and then there's the medium yellow one more time and there's the orange <laughs> yeah so when it gets real dark we'll take it up the road and see how they see how they look there we are this is regular uh this is the regular light that i see uh, and then of course high beams are right there you can see the tree lights up some more it draws the light up and that seems to work pretty good uh, I've also I do have LED fog lights in this truck so let's turn those on you can see the ground directly in front of the truck brightens up quite a bit along the, with the grass on the right and left side of the road so I really love my LED fog lights but we're talking about the headlights so here's that now we're gonna switch it to park lights and back the headlights this will go to one of the first uh, more of a kind of a yellow tint. It's a lower uh, white, like it's 7200 or whatever it is now. And it's going to drop it a little, but I get some of that yellow light. So here we go. These are more in line with like a, fac a factory style headlight, especially for this older truck. This is more of kind of the color uh, of light that comes out of the standard lights, especially once these trucks start getting some age. You know, your headlights tend to yellow. This is more of that. It is still way brighter though than stock lights in this truck, but you get the idea. And then of course our last setting uh, is the full amber or full yellow tint. And you can really see it now outside the truck. If you're looking at it, you can tell a huge difference. Also, I can switch uh, from high beam to low beam and it will save this as the last setting I used. So if I go to my high beams, we're back to the white uh, light and when I go from high beam back to low beam it will remain it will go back to that amber or orangey yellow color so here we go so see the transition now see the color differences it's pretty drastic and I can add my white LED fog lights to this right there so you see now that difference so high beam low beam and then it's supposed to have one more setting where it strobes however I can't get the strobe to work all I can get it to do is just go back to this so off park lights headlights medium amber there's a random ass cat So, but as you can see, these things are really bright, and you got your high beams, low beams. I'm pretty pleased, these guys are bright. So, switch oh there it goes see amber and then super orange and then back to white so amber super amber white
So, it, like I said, the, the little manual that I've got said it takes wherever the manual went that was in the thing. Here it is. It says it takes like 10 seconds or so for this to make the switch. If you have... How to adapt it with the retainers. Reverse installation. Yeah, so white 65K, warm yellow 4300, and then yellow 3000. And then it's supposed to warning flash, but I can't make the flash part work. But you see on and off, switch off and on within five seconds, reset to white light after five seconds of off, quick switch three times within 1.2 seconds. Oh yeah, so a manual reset is you switch, you do it three times, like as fast as you can, I guess. And there's your lighting differences. So, alright. I went and picked up Chinese food, so we're going to go eat Chinese food. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. 